Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, knowable video. Today's video I will be unpacking this Karcher, what's the model? SE3-18 Spot Cleaner. So a bit of history before I do so. I think around two years ago I posted a video unboxing this Biso uh, Spot Cleaner and it's a good machine and been used for last two years and it's not longer working. So I've got a couple of videos about Biso and if you didn't see this one um, I'll put a link through this video on the description above there. But um, as good as it was I'm slightly disappointed with the quality of the Biso. I expected a little bit more from them and I've got a couple of Biso products. If, you, if you're not aware please have a look at my channel. I've got carpet cleaner as well. And um, I think time to move on and try something else. And I think out of all spot cleaners in the market, there's not really much offering out there. Um, if you need carpet cleaner or hard floor cleaner, there's a lot of different companies do fantastic offerings. In the spot cleaner, not so much. And you ask me why do you need spot cleaner? I mean, everyone's different. I've got furniture like chairs with upholstery like this so people sit on them i need to clean them from time to time and also car seats and stuff like that and it's really handy with the battery you can carry it everywhere and spot clean what you need little spillages and things like that so if it's carpet i do use my carpet cleaners but if i've got little spot i'm using spot cleaners what I like about Biso, if you look at the culture, even in the box, it's a big unit. So I'm not sure about this. I really like the form factor of the Biso. But again, today's video is not about Biso, it's about culture. And I won't be testing or anything. There will be another separate video. Today's video, I will be just unboxing that culture and see what's inside. Some people like unboxing videos. I'm not sure whether they're trying to understand what's in the box, what they need to buy separately or just unboxing is exciting but I've been asked so many times when I post my video to do first video with unboxing so here we are we're unboxing this one now Karcham sent me two boxes and I'm not sure why so there's a box I guess with a machine and I expected battery to be inside it and a separate box like that and because I did not open boxes, I have no idea what's inside, so bear with me. This video is not professional, it's unedited, uh, untouched. So if I have surprises or will stumble, just bear with me. Let's see what is in unit and what you are yet to expect if you buy one. And then will be a separate video where I will be reviewing this. So let's start with the, I guess, small box. It was quite surprising, so the... I guess the part number come from directly from uh, Karcher, but I'm not sure what's inside. So let's open up and have a look. Actually, this one can clearly open like this. And oh, I see what they did there. And this is my first beef with the every single cleaner. When you buy carpet cleaner, spot cleaner, even hard floor cleaner, your expense, it's not just machine, it's a chemical that you need to use. So for example, I'll bring it, I, I learned it hard way, I've got hard floor cleaner from High Zero, and again, I put a video description below because I reviewed one. It's a great uh, uh, floor cleaner, but if you don't use their formula, the other formulas will form. And this foreman is not good for cleaning floors and it's actually not good for recycling back in the waste tank. So I'm not sure if culture would be the same way, but uh, I've got two additives sent to me. It's a stinky, sticky fingers and superhero stain remover. So I think one for the carpet and one I think for car seats and stuff like that. I mean, it's good. I'm not sure how much of each you need to use. I will report back on that. But Carter sent me two uh, bottles of samples. I'm not sure if every package will contain them, but uh, I guess offering that I get has one. So that separate box wasn't a battery. I said it's a battery. 
uh, but just two uh, separate chemicals to use in a spot cleaner. All right, this is out of the way. Let's see what's inside the box. And let's cut from each side and then top and open it up. By the way, um, let's talk about pricing. Uh, culture was $100 more expensive than Bissell. So if price and form factor is your thing, I guess we've got clear winner. Uh, Bissell wins, but again, it stopped working on me after two years. So I'm not sure about quality of culture, but that's not acceptable. That device like that stops working after two years. Maybe I just was unlucky. Now, what we've got on top, we've got manuals, we've got instructions, information about battery and charger. Anyway, standard booklet aside. Now, on top, it's really neatly packed. I'm not sure about how much packaging they're using, but I believe this would be charger. Is it? Yep. So this is the charger. And I think also on the side would be a battery. Yep, that's the battery module. So we we'll charge any battery. Uh, just a filler and another filler. And two fillers for power cord. I'm not sure why power cord need a filler. I guess just for things not to rattle on side. So I think every country will have a different power cord. This is Australian one. And extractor, I think uh, for the end of the hose. Uh, usually the spot cleaners work by injecting solution in and then rubbing and then extracting dirt out. So that's the nozzle. Now we've got the whole machine it comes like this and a keyboard no just kidding it's not a keyboard <laughs> it looks like a keyboard right but i think it would be extraction hose uh, just for operations yep. so okay so little vacuum nozzle i'm not sure what's that for and extraction hose all right so the box is empty and let's see what we've got for the unit here. So the unit is nice and light. Now let's look at the sizes. So the size is on a bulky side. So if you look at the length, the actually same length and Bissell may be a little bit longer. And Bissell would be exactly half thickness of the culture. So from a bulkiness perspective, um, Bissell wins because it's half size. However, let's see why it is so bulky and maybe we'll find out. So I've got nice handle, which is good. I mean, this one just hand handle, which is all right. This one more like a um, chiller or SK to carry. Um, then what we've got inside. We've got two tanks and so straight away I can tell you I can see a benefit which may be not a benefit but clearly like when you've got solution in here you've got a very small tank on top here to put solution look at this tank so for example if you're cleaning set of furniture if you go if your battery is allow you to run whole unit for whatever uh, 15 20 minutes you may need that much solution and you don't want to refill it in the middle of exercise. I think that's the bonus. Um, that is, I think, uh, so one of them waste, one of them is refilling, but still, if this is the solution uh, tank, it's still five times bigger, I think, than Bissell. So I can see benefits and disadvantages of Culture. I'm not yet commenting on the functionality, but from the ergonomics point of view, culture is just double size, but I think five times more capacity of solution and extraction or waste box, right? So if they operate equally, I think culture wins. 
where I'm a little bit puzzled and I need to read instructions is that is the culture nozzle and that is a bristle. Can you see it? There's a brush to scrub things. So I'm in two minds about that. I was talking to professional carpet cleaners and they told me that if you could stain on the carpet, a rubbing or kind of scraping it, it's the worst thing you can do. The idea is to spray and extract. So maybe culture is a little bit better in that way. But from the underwear consumer like myself before speaking to professionals, if I would see brush and mechanical operation as well as extraction, that would seem to be like a benefit. So I will comment on this after cleaning. So culture, the, the, the biggest difference is there's no moving part. So there's no um, a rubbing brush. It's just an extraction nozzle. I can see there's a sprayer at the bottom. I think it sprays solution in and then suction would suck it back into waste box. So I will read instruction and I think that could be beneficial, but immediate reaction is, well, it's less in culture than Bissell. Um, and I think everything is straightforward. So this side we've got battery that after charging battery slides in. We've got uh, uh, two tanks. Uh, we've got a solution tank, I think it's a waste tank and hose connection right here that the whole nozzle connects in and operation on top. Uh, I need to read instruction, but there's, a, I guess, only two positions, off and on. So seems to be straightforward and I will read instructions. I will do my first run and on my second run, I will do a video to share with you my first impressions. Uh, let me know in the comments if you got anything that is not clear or you would like me to know to explain what I feel difference between Bissau and culture and if you're interested in anything else. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.